Okay, so we're back for part two of my processing breadfruit video. Thanks for tuning in. Um, so my breadfruit is steamed and uh, I like to cool it down because once it's steamed, it's right out of the steamer, very soft, a little harder to deal with, breaks up easy. Um, so I do like to cool it down. Uh, you can put it in front of a fan if you like, um, or at least room temperature for you know half hour, 45 minutes or so. Um, as I was talking about earlier, I had two different uh, stages of fruit I was processing today. I did have a mature, firm, uh, processed fruit and uh, that works really well with this industrial peeler that I got um, 12 bucks on Amazon um, but it's nice and sturdy and and as, as I said once it's cool a little bit you can take just a few little strokes and get that peel right off and it's really nice because it takes it off on a super thin layer which is really nice and uh, Actually, another bonus too is I take these peels, and if they do get stuck, you just count a little bit. But I take these peels, and uh, a gal here on Maui is actually using these um, and converting it into animal feed, which is really cool. And uh, as a matter of fact, when Captain Bly finally got his breadfruit seedlings or uh, young starts to the West Indies, they didn't like breadfruit at first either, and they actually fed it to their animals. Actually, it took them about one or two generations before they started to enjoy delicious breadfruit, but um, definitely one more uh, added benefit uses of breadfruit. Um, but anyway, at this point, once it's peeled like this and steamed, um, this is gonna go into a freezer bag and uh, sealed and stored for at least until next season. I've had, I've had them in there for at least six months or so and they come out really nicely. Um, the other stage I had today was also the ripe stage, which, uh, remember I just peeled the, the, the core right out. Um, these, unfortunately, don't peel as well. Um, you can try it. If they're cold enough, it will, but because they're a little stickier, the peels do tend to get stuck in your peeler. So I'll take like a little paring knife or a large um, utility knife and just kind of pull the peel off. You lose a little bit more that way, but I find it's a little less frustrating than getting your peeler jammed up continually. Um, and then for me, the difference, I, I will break it up into large chunks like this. So I'll know that in my freezer, I've got, the, that's the ripened stage fruit, and then the whole quarters would be the mature stage, depending on what I'm using them for. Uh, hopefully you're fortunate enough to have both stages of fruit, or types of fruit in your freezer. Um, and I also know what a few people are probably saying out there, that, John, you don't need to steam breadfruit when it's ripe and sweet. You can eat it raw. And that is true. You can. However, I, I steam it for three reasons. Um, one is it gets the raw taste out of the breadfruit, uh, uncooked breadfruit, even though it's sweet and very aromatic and delicious. It does have a little bit of a raw taste to it. Secondly, uh, steaming it stops the enzymatic ripening process so that once it is steamed, um, it won't ripen any further. And the third reason is that I can take it uh, steamed and freeze it. Uh, freezing uncooked uh, ripe red fruit uh, doesn't, doesn't work too well. Um, and for you know, commercial uh, process, you know, that's important. So that's why I steam it. Um, other than that, I got a lot of breadfruit to peel today, but I hope uh, those tips helped you out. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. My email is mauibreadfruit at gmail.com. And if you live on Maui, stop by the factory sometime and say hi. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.